Alrighty guys, so for the longest time, I know that you guys have been requesting to see my brand new settings, sensitivities, and setups for the new Season 7 Call of Duty Mobile update. So that is what I'm going to be doing for you guys, especially since we have the Stage 4 Finals coming up very soon. And who wouldn't want to know what settings I use to qualify for the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship. Keep watching and let's get straight into the action. For the very first gun, I'm using the UL736. Now the reason for this is because this is definitely one of the best LMGs to use, especially since it has a 3 tap potential. And this is definitely my go-to LMG when it comes to that. Now for gun number 2, we have the QXR. Now as I mentioned, same score streaks, same perks different operating skill this time but this weapon right here i was really just testing out to see how it was compared to the other smgs and trust me when i say this this gun is definitely not up there in being top five when it comes to competing against the played cbrs and fenix but if you do want an smg that is fun to play with and if you guys are bored of this current meta this is definitely the weapon to go to in my humble opinion though it is definitely not the best so i would not recommend using this whatsoever for gun number three, we have the Fennec, one of the best close range SMGs to use. But this is the setup I would recommend using, definitely one of the best. And I know I have the pay to win version, so I do apologize if you guys don't have this. But if you guys do, this is definitely the go-to setup. Now, up on number four, we have the Switchblade X9. Now, right here, I do have a Tactician setup for this, but Tactician is officially banned in competitive. But I do need to make a few updates with this setup. But this right here is definitely above the QXR and the Fennec as of right now in the Season 7 Call of Duty World update in terms of how good it is, especially with the fact that this gun is far better when it comes to those longer range gunfights. And you guys already know me, I like taking those long range gunfights. This is the setup that I do use. Sometimes I do switch out the disable perk and replace it with a granular grip tape. But as I mentioned, it is personal preference. Either way, this setup is going to be good no matter what. Now for gun number five, the number one gun in the game, we have the CBR4. Now, I don't have to really speak on this weapon as much because you guys already know, it's basically like an AR shotgun, LMG, and sniper all mixed into one because it has all good traits of a weapon that it should have. It has great range, great mobility, great accuracy, great time to kill, and last but not least, great recoil control. So if you guys want a great gun that is new friendly and easy to use, this is definitely my go-to. Now for gun number 6, we have the UL once again. The only difference is that I do have overclocked on it, so I'm not going to speak on that too much. And then for gun number 7, which is a part of my other heavy genre, which I do use in competitive, it is none other than the shotgun. And I'm not going to lie, this weapon right here is one of the best shotguns to use besides the KRM. The reason for this is because it has the damage of a shotgun, but the range of a sniper. So you can basically one to two shot anybody across the map. It's pretty funny. I definitely recommend using this gun, especially in those close range quarter maps like the standoff and a summit. And now for gun number eight, I have the Kilo 141. Now I'm not gonna lie, as I mentioned earlier, I can only use SMGs, heavy weapons, and the AR does not count as a heavy weapon but i do like pulling it out here and there when it comes to playing rank as of right now in this current meta this is the one to use yeah the lk24 is better but i really just use it because of the fact that i have a far better skin on it than the other now for number nine i have the ffar this is another rank setup that i like using but it's also because i was making a top five guns list and because of that top five guns list i had to play around with the ffar to find out if it was worthy of being on that list and guess what it was now, if you guys want a great setup this is the one for you guys right here it's definitely my go-to and last but not least we do have the number one ar in cod mobile the king of all ars it is the lk24 it basically is a hybrid of an smg and ar combined which is what makes this gun extremely good and the overall fire rate and range is incredible so if you guys do want a great ar that's good for everything this is definitely my go-to and here are the attachments i would recommend with this weapon you guys can definitely change it if you guys would like to now going into our hud this is what my hud looks like i'm gonna be turning off my camera for a quick second just so you guys can have a better view of what it is now as you guys can see i do play a four finger claw i'll show you guys in a second how i play i basically use my two thumbs and my two index fingers both on my left and right hand and on top of the screen right now i will be showing you guys a color coordinated picture of where to put your fingers now in the picture there are obviously some things missing because this picture is a little bit outdated but 
it is basically saying that LT means left thumb and RT means right thumb and then LI means left index and RI means a right index and the other buttons that are missing in that picture are obviously these two ones right here at the bottom right I basically just split them apart and then this one right here doesn't matter because it's just an extra shooting button that it is disabled but everything else seems to be the exact same which has been the case for the past year and a half so if you guys want a great four finger claw hug this is definitely the hud for you and before i do get on to my actual settings let me just show you guys how to grip the phone now as you guys can see how it works is i basically play like this i basically have my right thumb and left thumb right here and then my left index and right index right here and i basically grip it like it's probably one of the easiest ways to play when it comes to a four finger claw hud i put my elbows on top of my desk which is a very close to my face right under me so if you guys want to find a great way to build your posture and make sure your back is straight this is definitely the way to go now going into our basic settings this is what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be scrolling down it pretty slowly and you guys can just or do whatever you guys want but these are my basic settings right here you guys probably know what they are and what everything means because you guys have been playing this game for a very long time i do have damage number off uh, ADS, tap to ADS, on for the, the left fire button, and everything else you guys already understand how it goes. The one thing I would recommend you guys to play around with yourself is the FOV range because it does matter when it comes to the device, but on my device, I do recommend using the 73 FOV. And now that you're done with the MP mode, we are going to be going into our audios. And now, for my graphics, I do use medium and ultra. Basically, the reason why I have to use medium graphics is the fact that if I do go to very high in graphics, I can't access the 120 frames that my phone provides me. And obviously, I want to be at a disadvantage and 120 frames is absolutely incredible. So with that being said, I have to switch to ultra. When I switch to ultra, the max I can do in terms of graphics medium or low but everything else on this list is pretty standard uh, i don't really know what any of this other stuff does but with that being said we are going to be going to our audio basically everything at max so i don't know why you guys are obsessed with that but then we are going to into our effects i use tactical flare and i use the color green i basically use a color that's easy to read and easy to catch with the human eye and then for the get hit hint i do use red because in my opinion that is definitely one of the colors to catch when you're getting shot now and, for the good part and which is now for the good part which is going to be the last and final part of this video we're going to be going to our sensitivity now keep in mind my sensitivity very slow but this is what i've been playing with for the longest time and with this the newest addition to this game is the uh vertical sensitivity so instead of it being the same sense all around for horizontal and vertical wipes there is now different sensitivities for horizontal and different sensitivities for vertical and i would say that's the only thing that has changed with my sensitivity but besides that everything else has been the uh same for quite a while and the reason why my sense is slow is because i use these it's called finger sleeves right here it basically gives me the ability to swipe pretty fast without having the fear of being inconsistent one day or without having the fear of my fingers being sweaty and being kind of dry when i swipe which kind of you know will force you to lose some gunfights but without further ado i guys did enjoy this quick video on the best settings and setups to use for cod mobile and i'll see you guys in the next one